Okay, <clears throat> hi there, I'm back. And I'm actually today gonna finish up uh, The Wrong's Treasures um, little merchant stall. I finished or started building a really long time ago. I'm sorry this video has been taking so long, but it's actually taking me quite a while to get together all the stuff I wanted for uh, this little merchant stall because I wanted it to be super eclectic and uh, just a mishmash of weird things so I'm gonna just go through uh, all the stuff I have here that I am able to use I'm not sure I'm gonna use all of them because it's not a big place to put stuff in um, but I tried, I'll try to put as much as I can in. So we're going to start and I'm going to stand up and I'm just going to show you. So here in this bowl, I just have maps and stuff and paintings and Ouija boards and things that I have just found on the internet and printed out in different sizes and stuff. There's also some like stoic arms posters and stuff. Uh, and then I've just stained them, especially the backs of them, uh, with uh, distress, distress Ink, Tim Holtz, Vintage, God, I can't speak today, Vintage Photo. So some of these are absolutely going to be used, not all of them, of course. Then I have these different crates that I've done before. Really simple. It's These are just... Uh, popsicle sticks and coffee stir sticks just glued together and painted and this is a different version with an open bottom or open along the bottom these are like you can make them as lamps you can make them as orna ornate bowls you can make them as anything you want and these are just um, bead caps that I have when needed, cut apart and just bend together to shape a bowl shape. Let's see what else I have here. I have some Hearst art pieces. Uh, me and my brother went got together and bought uh, a bunch of the molds. So I just painted up some an open barrel. Let's see if you can see it properly. A full barrel, a little cabinet. A uh, pot of some kind, a sack. This is just, I bought these a really long time and uh, used um, some gold drub and buff and just have you been using these as magnets. Uh, so that's why they don't have any paint on one side. But I'm thinking I could put stuff in them and glue the unpainted side. Maybe. Uh, then I have the bird cage, or the cage I made on video, and in that I have glued the um, this is a brass like connection piece for jewelry that's like a little branch, and on it I just have some butterflies. <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me, uh, that I have molds for. And these are just made with like silk clay or something, some super light air dry clay and painted. And I thought that would be fun. I have some beads and stuff that beads and um, let's see here if I can get some of them up. Some beads and uh, charms like this. So this is a little bell, it's a skull bead, it's, I don't know, something bead. Uh, <clears throat> uh, spacer beads. I think these looks really good as like bracelets and stuff. Uh, I have some polymer clay stuff. I'm not going to get all of it up. Uh, but like I've made some mushrooms. There's some bird also made from uh, silicone mold. More mushrooms, small bowls, like an iron cast pot. I have here some let's see. 
Oh. Like a little backpack. Some are mold, some are uh, molds, some are um, I've just scratch made myself. We got some different kinds of uh, potion bottles made from, or bottles made from uh, beads. We've got some, let's see here if I can find some fun stuff. So you can see it. We got some skulls. I have bought some plastic skulls on a sprue, made a mold of them, and these are gypsum casts of it, painted up. We have some uh, bits, and a bow and arrows in a quiver, a sword, a shield. And here we have some more of the um, mold, uh, super light clay, and these are like little rosettes. Then I'm going to take this up to you. Here we have some books. Let's see, no, this is probably better. See, does it focus? Yeah, you see. So these are books uh, glued together. Also found on the webs. Uh, <clears throat> just uh, made smaller or bigger for whatever I wanted it. And then I usually stain the outside of it since the, I'm gluing paper together and it's hard to get straight. Then we have some different kinds here, also books that are just, it's chipboard in between. Let's see if you can get that focus. And it kind of looks like book pages. Come on, focus, there we go. And then you have the book covers, all kinds of stuff. And I've used these uh, a lot in my little alchemist house building. So, okay. And it's going to be really hard to show you when I put these in. Because this is, I don't have big hands. And this is the size of the thing. Uh, to show you so you get how I'm gluing it. I'm going to use ordinary wood glue. And I'm going to use hot glue to put everything in. And then I, when I put everything in and fasten everything, oh yeah, before I go, I found these like, <clears throat> I don't really know what kind of needles these are, but they're really short. So I'm going to use these as like hooks and stuff because I made, oh, these I forgot to show you as well. I have like thin string and stuff that I make like rope hook together. I'm going to put some stuff hanging on the side of the stall and stuff, so... So I'll put everything together in a way I like it, and then I'll be back, and uh, I'll show you the results. So see you in a bit. Bye. Okay, so I'm back, and I filled my little merchant stalls with fun stuff. But before I show you a close-up, I'm just going to show you a little bit of a trick. Uh, see there? You see glue strings. If I can get them to focus. There you go. If you have a heat gun... It's the most simple way to get all the glue strings off. Just get it hot and then you see glue strings are all gone. So I'm just going to quickly go over all of this because there's a lot of glue strings. And now we can get to the close-up. So here we have the cage that's hanging on a bit of a... Uh, missed some glue strings. Oh yeah, when you do that, don't heat it too much because it will remelt the glues. So uh, we have this cage and it's hanging. Let's see if I can get it to focus. There. It's hanging on a little of those needles, a piece of it. And it was surprisingly hard to get those fastened, especially when I clipped them off. Um, and so it's got some movement, which is hard to show you. But here you go, the little wrongs treasures. 
and it is filled to the brink with the stuffs all of the almost all of the stuff that I showed you actually except for of course the maps and stuff and it goes Let's see if I can maybe get another light on it to show the inside as you can see there's maps and paintings and stuff the bottles two skulls the lamp there's stuff, there's the bell, the little cabinet, and you have some small bowls and stuff, pots and pans, a little uh, filigree bowl with rosettes in. There is stuff hanging everywhere from the sides and the, see, come on, there, like the shield and the quiver with the bow and arrows, a little sword, we got uh, one barrel with a lid and one open barrel, we got some mushrooms and a bird and some plants and some magic cards <laughs> or something, uh, whatever you want them to be. These are actually the spells from Harry Potter, which I thought was fun. We got the rope, we got some chain in there. And on this side we have a metal door, some more stuff, and yeah, I think this looks really cool and fun. Uh, so this is it for this little video series that took a really long time to get together. But I hope you enjoyed and I hope you got inspired uh, to do something like this or some just creating something. Um, and if you have any question about anything I have done here, just put it in the comments below and I'll be happy to try to answer it as good as I can. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.